in our last lesson we worked on this page um, this lesson we're going to style it uh, to get it to look more like the predefined one so in our header I'm going to add an ID nav header and also in the search I'm going to add an ID there and that will be our header search okay search field okay so if we go into our default CSS and add uh, some styles and properties to those two um, elements are so nav header so background color will make it white we'll make the base uh, border to be one pixel solid and add um, a color a color to it a slightly grayish color okay so if we um, reset the page okay so I have a few more things to do so if I come here I'm going to add a class so we say clear fix so we can actually see what we've done and there we go so we can see the background color and the gray border all right so what we now have to do is style our search um, field so I'm going to copy this ID here and I say go into our nav header and then find our search field ID I want to add a few things to it so uh, the pattern for the top should be 17 pixels uh, vertical align uh, to the center and we want the border uh, to be none and we want the width to be 300 pixels and the outline is none so if we save that and then come and reset and we can see our search um, is looking more like this here okay no borders or no outlines and so on right so the next element that we want to work on uh, actually before we do that so let's uh, go into our nav header and target the ul element um, so i want to say uh, the margin should be zero pixels and also the padding uh, should be zero pixels and then the list style should be none so we don't have the the, uh, the period or the full stop we add a color to it um, to our ul elements right so if i come to our ul we can have a class we want to pull our ul to the right of the page so if we reset the screen we see the color has changed and um, it's been pulled to the right okay so um, the next thing I want to do is go into our nav header target the li's within the ul okay, the lists I want to float them to the left uh, set the margin left to 15 pixels the padding uh, the padding should be 17 pixels uh, that's top and down and left and right to 0 pixels so that's uh, so basically this is um, what we have so far um, if I then um, go into our nav header and target the glyph icons classes okay so that's curly brackets so we want the color to be grayish so it matches up with um, the rest of of the page and not use them bootstraps color so that's what we have and to reset you can see that the colors have changed right so let's um, target the, the label uh, message which at the moment is not very visible so it's so the background color uh, for the for the envelope and put a color to it and change and we can see um, so not the envelope the labels for the messages okay so let's um, go into our nav header uh, target the a tags within it so we want to set the text decoration to none um, reset so that's fine we'll put a mouse over it nothing happens um, and also we want to Mm, what should I do next? So I have the other classes to our logout. 
um, a logout class which we can target. So within our nav header, we have a class logout. I want to set the color for that. Yeah, 6C. Okay. I'm going to copy this and then have a different um, hover um, to be the same the same color. So the, the logout does not change color when you hover over it. Okay. Um, now we've done quite a bit with the navigation section. Um, So we have um, our message, welcome message. Uh, we could target that and add some styles to, to the welcome message. So if we go to the LI, we could add an ID and call this welcome. And target our welcome um, ID. I'm nesting it within nav header. It doesn't really have to be given that it is an ID and only one of it can ever exist, but it doesn't hurt to do it. So put a margin right to that, so it pushes it um, to the left a little bit. So we have the, the footer section uh, to do. Uh, we'll, um, we'll leave that for the next lesson. We also have to push these labels up so they look more like this. Okay, so in this lesson we have added a few more styles uh, to our admin system and um, in the next lesson we'll um, carry on from where we've left off so I'll see you there